Hey guys, welcome to the 36th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the hole tool. And the hole tool will simply allow us to drill holes into our feature. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have some sort of 3D feature to drill into. And in one of its faces, just make sure that you have some sort of sketch. Um, I just have a rectangular prism right here, and on one of its faces, I just have a spline drawn out. But again, it doesn't really matter what sort of sketch you have on it, just make sure that you do have a sketch. Alright, so in order to use the hole tool, just go up here where it says hole and go ahead and click on that. And as soon as you do so, you'll get a nice hole tool dialog to just pop up right here. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is just make sure that you have from sketch selected under this placement right here. If you don't have from sketch selected, just go ahead and click on this right here and select from sketch from the drop down. Alright, so now what you're going to need to do is basically just select the center points for your hole or holes. And in order to do that, just go ahead and click on this centers button right here, and then go ahead and select your points from your sketch. Now I'm just going to go ahead and select this point right here, and this point right there. And you can select as many points as you want to, but for right now I'm just going to go ahead and select these two. And if I rotate this around right here, you'll see that those two points that we selected are in fact the center points of our holes. Now if we want to edit our holes in any way possible, we can just go ahead over here and edit how wide our hole is and how deep our hole is. But before we actually go ahead and change any of these values, I just want to show you exactly what the depth is, because it's not exactly what you might guess. Now the depth is actually the distance in between this point right here and this line. It's not the distance in between this point and the actual bottom of our hole. So just keep that in mind when you're editing the depth of your hole. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make the depth of my hole um, 3 quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to type in 0.75 right there. And as you can see, as soon as I change that value, both of these holes change. So every time that you're using the hole tool and you create one or more um, holes at once, you'll see that it will edit both of the holes at the same time. So again, just something to keep in mind. Alright, and this other value right here is just the width of your hole. So currently it's 15 hundredths of an inch. Well, I can just make this um, a quarter of an inch right here, so I'll just type in 0.25 right there. And as you can see, it just widened both of those holes to a quarter of an inch. Alright, and the last thing that we're going to look at is editing this bottom right here. So as you can see, this bottom comes to a point. Well, we can actually edit this angle by this value right here. So this angle basically is just this angle right here, so the angle of the point. Now, if we were to make this angle lower, we'll see that this point will just drop down farther. So if I make this um, a 45 degree angle right there, you see that this point just dropped down in order to make this angle 45 degrees right there. And if you just want to get rid of that pointed bottom altogether, you can just go ahead and select this option right there, and now your hole will just have a flat bottom. All right, and one more thing that I actually want to show you before I end this tutorial is this termination. So right now we have it on distance, so that means that our hole will stop when it reaches the distance we specified. In this case, it's just going to be um, 3 quarters of an inch. Alright, but let's say we wanted it to go all the way through, all the way to the end right here. And instead of just entering in like 100 right there just to make sure that it goes all the way through our part, what we can do is just change this termination to through all. And that will basically just make it so that no matter how deep our feature is, our drill hole will just go all the way through that. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we're just going to continue looking at the whole tool because there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with it. Alright, so see you guys.